see what's if Facebook gonna do us any better. They moving slow as well. All right. So I ain't gonna be able to see all the comments this morning because I got the camera switched a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my okay. Let's get some light up on here. All right, cool. We got the light up. We up, we kicking it. Um, we're gonna pull up our Uber comp. We're gonna pull up our special app so that we can keep up with the timeline. And we about to kick it, family. So I'm sending shots out to Simba Nation. My Simba family is in town today. And, you know, we are going to have a good and a good and beautiful day. So we're going to start off like we usually do. We're going to do what we do in Simba Land. All right? We're going to do what we do every day. Shouts out to the unsleeping one, Brother Nubis. Shouts out, fam. Um, we're about to gather and um go see this movie uh black panther um you said you have already seen it if if, if in, in the short time i've known you i know that you wow this is rather quiet early for you oh man this hey you know you know it's early for me on a on a kumba man but you know um i'm if you can look around the background is not the same i'm not I'm not at the home front right now. I'm at the school because uh, right now we're hosting our Simba family. We got people from Chicago. Um, um, we're having the Simba reunion here. So I'm doing the show live from my office because this is where I slept. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think we got about 30 people from out of town. But y'all know how we do it. We're about to get down here. And at the Millennium Community School, now it's Simba Land. Somebody else is up on the line. By the way, the phone lines are open, so we can't have a discussion because I have a question for y'all this morning, right? Because we're going to go and discuss the Black Panther. But I haven't seen the movie yet. Just heard some of the reviews. But this is the question I want to ask. Because we're going to look, and we're going to look at the culture of the movie because that's going to be Hopefully the most important part. We're going to have a great conversation. I can't wait to see some of y'all at the movie theater so I can introduce, introduce y'all to my Simba family because we got to know us people all over the country doing this work, doing this work right now. But this is the question I want y'all to think on. Just imagine in your imagination, because I don't want nobody running around because, you know, we already got black folks from Mars. We got black folks that's everything else but black folks. Right, you know what I'm saying? They're not descended. We're not descended from slaves and or slavery. We didn't go through the middle passage. It's all been faked and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna throw another imaginary reality up for you, and I want y'all to think about this. And I was thinking about this last yesterday, actually. I sit in front of my computer. And it hit me and said, "What if, what if we found out there was really a country like Wakanda?" How will we feel about it? We talking about the richest country on the planet. We talking about hidden away. We talking about a country full of black folks that knew because they got they got their technology outpaces everybody. That knew that we was over here catching hell like this. That knew that we was in the Caribbean catching hell and knew that we was in Europe catching hell and just stay hidden. How would you feel about that? Would the Black Panther be a hero for you or would he be a villain? <laughs> Just throw that out there. But hey, so here we go. So grab your glasses, family. It's time for us to get started. I ain't got my regular glass. We got the just. Ooh, Drink your water. Drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift 
your glass and drink some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Take your breath and drink some water. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Move your body, drink some water. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Let's put it together. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift some grass and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Drink, 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 drink. I messed up. Drink, 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 drink. Now let's pull it together. Lift your glass and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. And lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Messed up the whole song. Lift your glass and drink some water. Come on now. All right, family. There's only four things you need to do to stay healthy in this world. First one is breathe right. Second one is drink you some water. Third one is eat a culturally appropriate diet. And lastly, do some culturally appropriate movement. You do that, you don't never have to worry about seeing a doctor. Or maybe. I ain't, ain't going to say all that. But hey, lift your glass, drink some water. Drink with me. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink, drink. Drink. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass. All right, family, now check this out. Get your water, drink your water up because I'm about to put the call in number for those that might be, might want to join. I got two computers working now. So um, call in line. I got an elder in here meditating too. Wow, this is this is beautiful. 614. I, I hope he was able to meditate while I was doing what I was doing. 4535. Five. Where are my daughters when I need them? Because they let me, they remind me um, all the numbers and stuff. And with me getting old, you know, I might not be able to get all that together. All right, so now the uh, call in lines are open. We got three of y'all up. I know y'all ain't used to me being up this early on the Kaumba. And by the way, great Kaumba. And speaking of Kaumba, it's going to be a very creative day. We have an opportunity as a community to get out and see the movie. But hold on, let me, um, Brother Nubis, because we know Brother Nubis already went and seen the movie. He probably seen it three times already. And um, we need to see what Brother Nubis has to say about my, my piece. Because, you know, 
he he's he is a die hard a die hard um fan of black panther i, I like I, I like black black panther too actually i like batman but if i had to pick between them i would have to pick black panther because black panther know how to deal with his enemies batman won't won't, won't kill him black panther has no problem uh a villain uh ask the question if if my man uh if that country wakanda really existed how would we feel about it being african americans we got a, a culture that's been advanced and it's been advanced for a very long time never even came and tried to help us never spoke up for us nothing you know what i'm saying just sitting on all this wealth sitting on all this technology that could have freed the people how would how would you feel all right and anubis says a villain but one that i could get behind just because people who happen to share a few commonalities with you does not mean that they're really ready to stand as one after all we're not um not many different factions uh i think brother kwame is on he just said See, I got the camera changed in a, in a strange way, so I got to move through them fast. And for some reason, it won't let me. Mm, I got. I I know what I could do. I know what I could do. All right, I'm gonna be able to read your comments. All right, but also you call in. Shouts out to brother Kwame. Great morning. I got your tickets, fam. I can't wait to see you at the theater. You know what I'm saying? We got a few seats open, so if y'all know some people that want to come on out have them come on out so that we can go and make sure that everybody that want tickets can get tickets you know what i'm saying we uh, somebody will be at the front door family i see you miss tiandra i see you hey i can't wait to see y'all at the theaters but today is kaumba so let's go on and let's look at what's going on with the energies of the day right now today is kaumba for those that don't speak the language the day is a day of creativity. So I want you to activate your reticular formations. For those that don't know what the reticular formation, the reticular formation is a formation within the brain. is an actual physical structure that you can use to identify and find what you want in life. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of us, our, our reticular formation is still operating on a survival level. It's still operating on an old program. So it's always looking for danger. So this is why we could walk into a room and automatically find what we don't like. This is why we could walk into a job and find automatically what we don't, what we don't, what we don't want. We could walk into a relationship and find what we don't want. We could walk into any situation and pull out all of the negative right away. Why? Because our reticular formations were um, were were created to protect us. Why? Because it it helps us focus. It helps us keep attention, and it helps us. It's like a GPS. It help, helps us find what it is we're looking for. So if I'm living in an environment where I'm constantly surrounded by dangers, I need to be able to see those dangers. I need to be able to see that snake. I need to be able to see that bear coming. I need to be able to pick up on scents that would that would um that possibly would lead me into danger. So what I'm saying is, family, we need to take time to start reprogramming ourselves reprogramming our reticular formation and start using it to bring into our life and find what it is that we want and what we need as a people it's hard for us to organize as a people why because our reticular formation is always looking for the flaws in everything rather than looking for what it is that we need and what we need to be doing as a people so today while we're in this movie i want you to activate your reticular formation don't worry about hating the movie because Brother Hot Tim will find enough hate for everybody. I'll do that. All right. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have a discussion. We're going to stream the discussion live. You know what I'm saying? People going to be able to uh, participate in it. But we only got a half an hour, though. We only got a half an hour. Shouts out to Brother Devin Shaw. Thank you for tuning in, family. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we are in the beautiful Millennium Community School, and it has become Simba, Simba and Simpson Land. Don't want to leave out the ladies because you know i mean in the chant competition i don't know i haven't been in maybe about two years in the chant competition 
women always win, man. And you know what? What's so dope about that? Because we noticed this in Simba years a while ago. Sisters would come in and just blast the brothers out. I'd be like, damn, I'm trying to get hype. And the sisters were still, oh, they were out channels, right? But then we're going we go to a movie where I know because from because I read the comic books, we know in the movie that the king's imperial guard, the king's guardians, is women. Family, those of you that don't know about women and warriorship, you don't know what you're missing because the sisters used to get out on the battlefield and whoop some butt. I'm listen, I'm li listen, I'm just trying to let y'all know the reality right the reality because you know what i'm saying men do things women do things right sometimes sometimes i have to do some things that people will consider women's job and sometimes women have to step up and do what and and we can be both we could be good at both we could be well-rounded right so back to the energies of the day y'all know it's kaumba those that don't know what we do on gm journey what we do on this show what we do in our life what we try to do family is this right we're not just talking about these in Saba principles the laws of maya on this call uh, is uh, being uh, recorded a monthly basis you know what i'm saying or a year a yearly basis we're talking about it on a daily basis i am kaumba you understand what i'm saying today is kaumba for me so rather than me looking at saturn because that's what saturday means Sat saturn's day hell no it's creativity day. It's African creativity day. I got a call. Who on the line? Who that on the line? Who on the line? Miss Tracy. Oh, Miss Tracy. All right. How you gonna be right up? Get off the phone and come on over on the picture, girl. You ain't getting on the picture. Oh my God. All right, but yo, family. So now I want y'all to understand. So. All right, today is the day of Kaumba. For those that don't speak the language, today is Creativity Day, right? The Maotic principle of the day, for those that don't know who Maot is, you need to look it up. Maot is the, uh, the goddess of truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, order, and harmony, right? Um, in, in the Bible, they call her wisdom, right? I want y'all to think about that. Another thing about them women, right? wisdom that balance the truth justice harmony right so today the principle is order so say you don't want to look up crew look for creativity today can you find order in our community oh we got somebody else on the line who uh who else is on the line oh this is shaka oh what's up brother shaka what are you doing up this early man oh but hey, hey man it just happened this way all right hey but check this out what i need is i need to know before we even go any farther did you straighten out that situation with that scoby man oh yeah okay all right because i don't want i don't want to call i don't want to call scoby protective agency on you man because hey you can't be doing this man like i did that. it on the same video i did it on the same video if you go back and you watch i i put the I did the process right then and there. I didn't cut into it or nothing like that, like you were saying. I think that, uh, you know, I just got to accommodate what I got right there. And uh, shoot, let me look at this other scope because it was actually coming together yesterday. Mm -hmm. By that little floater on top. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So now, so the color of the day is orange. The hermetic laws, for those that don't know, the hermetic not hermetic yeah it's it's not hermetic laws it's um yeah i guess so i guess it is yeah it's her hermetic laws the hermetic law today is cause and effect realize that everything you do affects something else and that's important for us as a people to realize we got to realize that our lives are like dominoes and every step we make makes a a, a royal dominoes fall and your whole life is a total domino. So how are you living your life? Are you going to fall into the next generation and cause them to move forward? Or are you gonna fall backwards and stop the line of progress? Shout, shout, shout to Sister C. Lo. I'm, I can't wait to see you at the movies. I, and I know my brother Renee is coming. We still got some tickets though. I need, y'all need to get on them phones in, this morning because this is a fundraiser 
for for Simba, and I need y'all. I need my family to make sure that we pack the house out. And El Tell Elder Renee, we're gonna have a security piece up there because I, you know, I, you know, just in case, just in case they want to act up tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, this morning, you know what I'm saying? I I know I just told y'all to activate your reticular formations and look for the positive, but you know, hey, we in America. God, you know, I, you know, and I'm gonna hold the cussing down because it might be some kids up in front of um, you know. So, uh, this, this is gonna be a kid friendly show. Oh, by the way, I need to remind you, you are now listening to Giami Journey Media. That's right, my spiritual animals travel with me. Of course, you know, this is a daily toast, and this is a heart of a simple production. Simba, why are you stuck? Y'all see that? Well, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. So, if you was born on this day, not today, but well, if you born today, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. But if you was born on this day, on Kumba Day, your name would be Kwame if you are a male. And Ama, if you are female, once again, if you was born on a day, this is your day. Kwame, uh-oh, we got a Kwame on the line. Shouts out to Kwame, it's your day. It's your day, Kwame, it's your day, right? We also got some Amas, right? So, um, shouts out. So, all right, now also, one of the things I want to cover a little bit right now is if you look on the screen, I got this thing called Crack the Code from Elder Wakesa, where we talk about these emotions, the mad, sad, and scared. We're going to start stressing this a little bit more, start practicing a little bit more in, in the village right now, because we got a lot of we got a lot of emotional issues going on. And rather than looking at emotions, be like, stop being so emotional. No, we're going to use them as a GPS signal to move people back to where they need to be. Um. Uh-oh. Uh, CeeLo just sent somebody else to put on a toast. Add Anna McGill to toast. She is a mother of a dear friend. She transitioned yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Your wish is my command. Soon as I find my pen, y'all know how I, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to let y'all see my pen. All right, brother Shaq, you got something you want to share with the people while I'm writing down names for those that have ancestors that you want to toast. By all means, post them up on or get your glass and toast them. Um, let me go ahead. You got something you want to say, Brother Shaka? Yeah, man. I'm looking, I'm looking at a uh I'm looking at the first red June Scoby. I don't know how to uh how else to say it, man. Like what do what what do we do with it? What do we do from, from this point? You know what I mean? Well, you were only you, you were only brew in that specialized tea see because what you got is the first generation so you got you got it is not totally the 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 original yet what you have is the beginning the first generation so the first generation is still steeped in um coming from the that ambrosia family for those that don't know um shaka started brewing and um you know it ain't ambrosia once you leave my once you leave my premises right so he he started brewing his own <laughs> june right so he he's experimenting with a different type of tea so the first generation is still intermingled with what 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 we originally called june the green tea and the um the green tea and the, the raw honey now what you're doing is you're moving one over so it, the next generation the next scoby you get will be a pure a pure one that's designed for the tea you have and that will be your first official generation you'll taste the difference all of the benefits will be totally activated because that scoby came up in that mix um anna mcgill all right so now i'm gonna finish up my water family you know the rules 
You have to drink your water. We can't toast our ancestors if we are unhealthy. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we can, but it's less powerful, right? We, we're in this life. We came to this life. We're generational people. We have tasks that we have to fulfill. So we have to make sure that we stay healthy. So right now I'm drinking on my water and I suggest that for every pound of body weight you have, you drink um, half in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, that means that you should at least drink 50 ounces a day. I'm, I'm starting off with about 32 ounces. Um, Sister Tracy, you on the line? You got something you want to say? You can just scream it across the room. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get it, family. All right, so I'm going to finish up my water. So any other takers? Because, of course, I know my man Anubis was going to put a comment up about the question. But how would you feel about a country that was recently found in Africa? that had been involved in the economic structure of the world, had been trading with the world, had been, um, ha has advanced technology, and all of a sudden we discover in 2018 that they've been sitting around, they've been in existence, everybody know about them but us, right? And now they play their major role in the world. How would you feel about a country like that? How would you feel about a people like that? Would you be friendly to somebody like that? You, I mean, you understand the question, Shaka? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you like this, man. <laughs> somebody, some in somebody's world, they uh, they rule the world. And I was one of the standards, I guess, personal standard of mine is, is, is uh, you know, if you're not if you're not king in your own existence, then whose are you? Right. Okay. And so, if I were to discover that there was this utopia that was guarded by this sacred and and whatever i haven't seen the movie yet you ain't read the comics oh uh, you know what honestly i no i was i was uh i was i was not privy to black panther until uh i heard about this project oh my god i mean you know in terms of the marvel universe I mean, we used to talk about comics all the time, and we never really talked about Black, Black Panther. Panther. You're right. You're right. I'm guilty. You're right. You're right. Because I sure never brought Black, Black Black Panther up in our discussions. Because now, at that point in time, he was more of a side character. Um, um, Sister Tiandra says she will feel abandoned and hopeful at the same time. She said, I just want to go home. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Tianja, what you mean you love the movie? Are you supposed to be going to see the movie with us? Oh man, I feel abandoned and and and, and hopeful at the same time. How are you gonna go see the movie in advance? Oh, it, that's trivial <clears throat> or something. What's going on? But hey, all right. So I'm almost done with my water. And guess what, family? Yes, that ambrosia does travel. I got me some ambrosia. Right here in Simbaland. Where you at anyway? I'm at I'm at the I'm at the school, brother. I had to spend the night at the school. I sit up on the floor, my oh, neck. Okay. My neck. I, I I just can't do it like I used to. I just I just can't hey, do it like that, I now used that's to. That's what I need. That's what I need right there. Tia, I, I I I got some words for you when I see you. Now you ain't gonna let these tickets go to waste. I know. Tia, Tia Andrew, you're not letting these tickets. You, you're not letting these tickets go to waste. I know. Right. Listen, family, I told her, I said, look, we're doing a fundraiser. See, this this is what I love about my family, because I could complain about all the people that didn't respond. But no, listen, I go into an event. I say um, we are doing a fundraiser. We're going to see Black Panther. She, she came with cash. She forced the cash. because You know, I ain't good with money. I, you go out to 
No, nah, I trust you, brother Hotel. She get forced her hand in my money. I mean, forced the money in my hand and said, look, I see you there. I'm going to get the tickets, right? And then she went and saw it anyway. Oh, man. All right. So now, family, those that are new, post up your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do this toast. Get ready. Um, Read them. There are some very valid reasons for keep up. Oh, see, now, I understand. I understand. But just understand this, man. We got we got a king with panther powers. You know what I'm saying? He he he's mingling with with deities. And I'm catching hell. And I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? So uh you know, you, you know uh uh um uh what what's that boy's name? Now um Tashaka, not Tashaka's his father. T'Challa gonna catch some hell from me. I I probably be on my podcast just dogging him right now. You know what I'm saying? Dogging him, cause I'd be mad. You know what I'm saying? But all right, but then I will have to activate my reticular formation. I will try to see what was some of the positives, right? Cause I, you know, I I had to do it cause I see one of my I see my elder looking at me. He's my coach, right? He one of my coaches. He he, he keeps me balanced. All right, so here we go. We're gonna pop this and we're gonna do our little toast. Oh, ain't do what you wanted to do, Shaka. This one is kind of kind of old. This is mature. So for those that don't know, this is that ambrosia. Oh, Elder wants some. Now this is kind of mature, Elder. So go on, take it easy. We get at the bottom. Yes, sir. All right, so here we go. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that. Um, that that. That created we call on that first power we call on our first ancestor which is the creator and we lift up our glass and we say ashe and without any further ado because everybody tunes in because we toast our ancestors our, our personal ancestors on a daily basis so here we go family we got a long list because the family is growing and i got some more that i have to add Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert the Tech, Santa Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walton, Christopher Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, the second, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, <laughs> Jeremiah Tappet, John Falar, Montague Pimpinel, No More X, a pet Maya Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer. Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro Ector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, um, the Luster Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Miss um, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster. Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McRae, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Derek Randleman, Vir Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Meg Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hires, Melvin Dale Hires Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jeannie Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Levita Farmer, Ago Sosu, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theodos Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica, Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keechler Reese, Glenda Watson Hammers, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, 
Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, or yeah, Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Amatet Wilman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Rustlin Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Brother Nubis added to his list, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra, Ada Pearl, uh, Sister Tiandra, not an ancestor, she added her list, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Andre Finch, William, William Billingsley Jr., we got Brother Deshaun, he salutes his mother, Jennifer Sensabaugh. I added my Aunt Hazel Gatson, Jerry Brantley, my son Brian Watson Jr., and Kaniko Parsons. Both of them um, participated in Simba. Um, we lift up our glass. Ashe, um, Aisha um, in Dayton, she salutes Stacy Trice, Frank Smith, um, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, uh, Miss Ford. Um, salutes Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Urban, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dr. D salutes her father, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Sister Jackie in Maryland salutes Emma McClendon. We want to send special energy to Sister Jackie because she going, um, she they had a medical crisis in the family, so we want to send energy that way. Um, we got Jerry Doyle. Um, added to the community list, Amina Robinson and, and brother Shabaka Ture, Sister Madonna, um, toast her, her mother, and Donna Hill and Richard Glevis, her father, Sister Cynthia, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Void Irby, Jim Gaucher, Georgia Haley Johnson, Archie, and Margaret Armstead. CeeLo added, um, added to her list, Archie Beck, and we salute Anna McGill, who recently made her transition. So we got to do it three times. Anna McGill, Anna McGill, Anna McGill. Brother Santana, we salute Aunt Becca, um, Elder Greg Arnold, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Sister Shelly I, Eula and Andrew Bar uh, Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimlin Vernon, Bradley Kim, Jamie Harriet. No, Janie, Harriet Tubman, Kate, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron, Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Wahatch, Dave Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Brother Kwabna, um, um, salutes Alex Nixon, um, Elder Bo um, Bowie, salutes John Bowie, Janelle Ross, salutes Dor Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, and Leroy Stokes, Elder Ori Piarchi, Neely Johnson, er, Elder er, Ori Piarchi salutes Neely Johnson and Fletcher Swan, uh, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Charles Stephenson salutes Vivian Stephenson, Cassandra Holloway salutes Mona Ann, Elder Phyllis salutes Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, and Sister Enya. Salutes Margaret Towns and Mary Williams. We Jesse send Jackson. all us, huh? Salutes Rachel and Lester Sanders. Rachel and Lester Sanders. Give me, give me that afterwards because I toast them every morning. And anybody else, if you have ancestors that you want me to toast, by all means, send them in because we started this because I noticed during libations, a lot of us didn't know our ancestors. And it's the most important part of, uh, of the libations is us calling on our family line. So we lift up our glass. We say our shade. From there, we move to the present moment. We toast this, this moment. We are on the day of Kaumba. So we lift up our glass to our creativity and we say, Ashe. From there, family, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to affinity because everything we doing now affects our children. And the question is, what legacy are you leaving? So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. We toast all of our relations. 
because I'm trying to hurry through because the elder want to drink his ambrosia. We, 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 we salute all of our relations and we salute, most importantly, family, I toast you for taking the time to join us right now today. So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Don't drink up, family. So now we can have our conversation. Now we can have our conversation. I, I, I see. I know you biting at the bit, brother Shaka. What's going on, my friend? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm tasting some of this June myself. Woo! What you think about the elder? Oh, I got an elder up What's in here sipping on some ambrosia. I wanted to see how what he thought about it. Now I wish I had it a little bit younger, but this is like that mature. This that mature. This that mature probiotic. See, and I told y'all, listen. I told y'all two years ago when I started doing this, they are now putting probiotics in all this food right now. We have the means to create all the probiotic probiotics we need in our homes right now. I'm willing to show every last one of y'all how to do this. I'm not playing with this. Watch the commercials. You see during the NBA finals and all this, they talking about probiotics and this, probiotics and that. And I'm telling you right now, be careful with that stuff. Because along with the probiotics, what they have in there is a lot of sugar. And black folks, y'all know y'all don't need, we don't need no more, we don't need no more damn sugar. Excuse my language. We don't need no more sugar. Y'all don't need no more sugar. We need to go on and go on and eliminate some of the sugar in our diets already, right? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we use pure honey. So, Shaka, go ahead, man. What's going on? Oh, man. I just, uh, so I had some of the regular June, and then I, I'm about to taste this. Uh, you know, they got these ambrosia apples that they sell, and uh, so I sliced up an apple and and a cinnamon stick in this mason jar. So I'm about to taste it for uh, this is the day two of it. Let me go ahead. All right, um, brother Anubis. Um, hold on. Let's go back. Not, not at all. I'm bringing my boys. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. I just want to make sure she was there. Um, reading them, there are some very valid reasons for keeping sacred, uh, sacred Wakanda secret. All right, I hear you, Anubis. All right, but of course now Anubis also says, let's go down. Hold on. Let's go to Kwame first. Kwame say, if if the god must be crazy uh he says if the gods must be crazy smiles quoting the movie or at least talking about the movie those old enough to remember the movie uh the gods must be crazy then stop looking to them for your rescue we get ourselves together the gods will visit us like homer wrote uh-oh uh-oh so you quote homer now go ahead uh, I mean, listen listen my daily toast team is cold i'm, I'm just i'm just letting y'all know um Anubis says, now he's coming from the mythic or the, the, the story piece of Wakanda. Lots of fools from Wakanda tried to share with the world before, and they were, of course, betrayed for it. And their kindness, because people inadvertently became overly greedy and wanted it all for themselves. Uh. Um, CeeLo is sending out our shades for all those we poured for. Like I said, family, on a daily basis, remember who and what you come from. Remember the greatness you come from, your bloodline, right? Your bro your bloodline is all important. You know what I'm saying? Remember your bloodline, family. Remember those who came before you, right? So um, so if there's nothing else, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because uh uh any other any other questions, comments, anything? Because you know, I'm gonna need to get ready for this movie because I'm gonna have to get over to this movie early we got a we got a case to joint you know what i'm saying um oh what time is the movie uh, the movie start for us at 10 45. um of course oh, okay. some of us gonna be over there early i gotta go get my girls i gotta see if my mom want to go you know what i'm saying and, and stuff like that um i know elder renee is gonna be there early all of the brothers that's showing up I need your mind. I need you. I need you to be observant. Let's allow young people to enjoy it, but we can enjoy 
and but at the same time be the men of the village. There's nothing to go down here. I need y'all to understand that. I'm just saying that because somebody done posted how many people we got. We got about 250 people showing up to, to, to share in this moment, right? We're going to have about a half an hour for discussion, so keep your comments short, all right? We want to look at the culture. We want to look from what we what, what we could build. We want to look at the motivation behind the movie, right, and all that. So take your notes while you're up in there, right? And then maybe maybe later on if y'all want to have a further discussion those that are not participating in the simba reunion by the way there is a gala i don't know if there's tickets available so you need to ask around because there might be some tickets available you know what i'm saying you know i i don't know brother shine online you know is there any tickets you know it might be somebody that might want to go to the gala tonight you know what i'm saying so um but yo, family, remember, you know, um, this is Giami Journey Media. Oh my God, anime, anime. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Listen, try to keep these mystic animals. I can't, you know, I got a phoenix. I don't know where she be half the time. She, you know, all she gotta do is make her sound. Let's try it again. I want to remind you that this is Giami Journey Media. This has been the Daily Toast. This is a Heart of December production. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. So, I'm out. I don't know what y'all gonna do. Some of y'all still on the timeline. We about to get up out of here. All right, family. So I'm gonna see y'all at the theater. We got one view on YouTube too. Uh oh, we got the elder playing the drums. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Hey, Shaka. You buy your you buy your you buy your yes, organ. Sir. You buy your organ, my friend. Yes, sir. Man, go on, go on, go on, throw us okay. a rendition of something out, man. Okay, okay. Let's see here. No, Tianja, somebody gonna be out the way. I'm gonna be out there waiting for you. I'm gonna be out there. I'm I, I'm gonna find you, but you can't text me just in case you don't see me. Get there on time, lady. Shaka about to go and serenade us, family. Shaka. Shaka. What happened? Yes, sir. Did you stop? Oh, uh, no. You don't hear? Oh, uh, uh, you know what? I know what's going on.
expensive bottle. Like, so you put it in here and you get to see how the process is. So you get to see how long you need to let it sit, how long you need to let it breathe. Because like I said, it's a symbiotic, it's a symbiotic culture. Because I used to say, and I say culture, because one of the pieces that we're trying to build with, with nation building, with culture. So basically what you see happening is you see a group of bacteria and yeast coming together and working together as one so that they can survive. That's culture. You know what I'm saying? If you don't belong to that culture, right. you don't get in. Right? It's, a bit, it's, deeper than, it's deeper than community. This is about survival for them. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Right? So right. that with that symbiotic culture, it's symbiotic, not just with the honey and the tea. It's symbiotic with the chew. And I, this is what I try to get people to understand. This is why you have to develop the relationship with your scope. Because your scoby will give you what you need. Because as long as you're healthy, your scoby survives. So your scoby is going to work off of your needs. It's a symbiotic relationship. You provide the scoby with what it needs. The scoby provides you with what you need. You provide the scoby with what it needs. And like it provides you with what you need. Like this is why I said, name your scoby. Talk to your scoby. When your scoby make a good batch, you let it know. This is excellent. Man, you're doing a good job, girl. All my scobies, girl. Right? You're doing a good job, girl. You know what I'm saying? But then when it, when it, when it produces a bad batch, you got to, uh, you know what I'm saying? So you develop it in a relationship with your scobies. And all of the scobies that come after the one that I gave you are really, really yours. And they're going to be sent into you. And of those people around you. Because it's going to try to make people around you. Right? So, um, I hope I answered your question. I hope I answered your question. Yeah, so, I mean, so, what, so the, the best thing to put it in is, 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 is like, the, like I got the, the wine bottle right now. With the now, is it, is it a wine bottle? Is it a wine bottle with a score on top or the cork? <laughs> That's not a wine bottle, sir. I'm just, just saying, you know, you telling on yourself. That, that, that's not a that's not a wine bottle. All right. Okay. I feel you. You move the whole foods and what? Real wine bottles don't come to school off top, sir. I'm just. That's why I poured it out. You poured the wine out. Yeah, it was disgusting. You know, it, it was the whole food, uh, personal brand. All right. All right, brother. Let me, yeah. let me help you. Let me help you. Never buy the wine from the school off top. Wine, the wine making process is just like the process that we're going through. See, the beauty about wine, wine is, I mean, wine, the process to make wine is the same process that makes ambrosia. I mean, that makes the, the juno, that makes kombucha. It's brewing. So when you, when you go and get a, a, a wine, right, it shouldn't have a screw, it shouldn't have a necessarily have a screw on top because the cork, the, the cork, the cork allows the pressure to build. And just in case it's too much pressure, it'll pop it out. But wine is age on the rocks. We're blessed because we have a product where we can allow it to sit and it'll be ready to drink in three days. It'll be ready to ship yeah. in like uh, eight. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, my process is to breathe. Okay. So I will pull it out and I will put it in my aerator, in my in my jugs. Like I, you can see the jug. You see the jug. Right, I put it in the jug okay. with my aerator top on it. And I will let it sit for two or three days. Let it breathe like that. And then I know it's safe enough for me to put in the bottles. I just had some bottles sitting in my office because uh, somebody ordered some bottles. Right. And I just he, they sat in my office for almost for, for this whole week. I ain't got to worry about blowing right. up because I got my time in now. Go ahead. Okay. So, so I got this other bottle. That it is gorgeous. And it's in there. Um, 
Do you keep it room temperature? Yes, now. All right, now. Or refrigerate. Now, it depends on how you want to drink it. Now, some people that, that get it from me, they drink it for refreshment. So what they do is they put it in the refrigerator. And they also know that they might not get it now for a while. So what they do, I see, I, I see you, Lucas. I, I, I apologize, bro. You right, like the sprouting charges and outside charges, outside of the I could dig it. All right, now. But when you put it in the refrigerator, it slows down the problem. Do not. Do not put your Scobies in the refrigerator, bro. All right. Scobies, no refrigerator. Say it with me. Scobies, no refrigerator. Scobies, no refrigerator. Say it. I'll be no refrigerator. Wow. Okay. Cool. No. <laughs> but you can't put a drink in there because that'll slow down the, the, the carbonation process. That'll slow down the, 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 uh, the, the, the feasting, the, the fermentation. And the slow down the fermentation process. So that will keep um, the ambrosia at a certain point, right? It won't totally stop it, but it will slow it down, okay? Now, I like, when you drink mine, you, you, you didn't drink nothing cold. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I, that I want to demonstrate to you is I pulled out one of the first bottles that, that I brewed, and I popped it. That was, it was two years old. That, that was delicious, man. Oh man, it was dry. I mean, it was like so. Now we know we got a product that can age. So you know what I'm saying. So we can actually go out and get wine bottles, and after we age it to a certain point, we can put the cork on it and actually have some ambrosia for special occasions. You know what I'm saying? Because think about you know, five, you know, um, um, when um, when Pharaoh and Gene graduate from high school, we got a bottle that's been sitting around for um, for ten years. You know, like, we'll be able to do a toast. And I mean, because it is, see, because I want people to understand it's deeper for, for, for us than just making a drink. We're, we're developing a culture. This is why in the scope, I, I stress scope. We're developing a culture. Just like Pepsi has a culture, Coke has a culture. People will fight over which one of those is better. And right now, what we're building up, we're building up a family of friends and family that enjoy what we do. So in a sense, they will start supporting what we do. So eventually, we're going to be able to bring out the bottom and be like, yo, this, no, this bottom is sitting for two years. Somebody going to be like, I need $500 for it right now. Check. 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 You know what I'm saying? Because they understand, they, they understand the craftsmanship that went into it. They understand the work that went into it, and, and what what you what you're starting on may be what feeds your son in the future. It may be the business that your son take over. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm being clean, and Gina, I'm, you know, you see Gina come and say, "Can I just scope And she wants to scope it. So I want to just scope it. They know how to work with it a little bit. They see me mix it up, so something happened to me. You know what I'm saying? We have a little family, a little family business right now. It, you know, brings in right now. It, it breaks even, right? But who knows? Who knows what Cleveland or Pharaoh could do with this? And this is something that we could produce from the beginning to the end, right? We, hey, go ahead. Have you, have you checked out, or have y'all heard? Y'all listening? Have y'all heard of Netflix? Uh, it's a Netflix series called Book of Me Bros. No, I'm going to check that out. Thank you for sending out the text. Hey, you know. okay. No, Mr. Cielo just sent the text out letting people know about the, the tickets. Okay. Oh, man. Uh... I was watching it with Pharaoh the other day. He got he got real good in the studio. I couldn't take it out. I was working, but uh, you know it, it, it started off with this uh, story of a of a doula. You know, back in Africa, like, like before they got captured, and uh, or the tribe. Well, I don't, don't want to give the, the first episode was just like groundbreaking. It was groundbreaking. To see the process, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, the same process that we've seen over and over, time and time again. Uh, 
the Bible time and you know, but you know, to take it to you know to a, a, a different level. So I want to uh, you know put that out there and just see uh, you know how y'all receive. Yeah. You know, if, if the rest of the, uh, if the rest of it is that uh, is is a dynamic. Is is uh, what I think. I think that. Uh, Really got something. Definitely, you know, we got to have a conversation about Netflix because there's a lot, there's a lot of revolutionary uh, documentary, even you know, Netflix being able to mention those to, to tell the truth. You know what I mean? Like we've seen documentaries about Black Panther. You know, Netflix original got their own Netflix funded. It's like how do you uh? How do you put the context like the uh, you know the the whole relationship with with our stories, our narratives, as you say, and that's quick. And, and like I said, now, it, it's important that while they're telling our story, like you said, we got to be we got to monitor the, the, the narrative and have a discussion about the narrative because one of the most important things as a people that we must maintain. That we must make time, or that we must take back, is the ability to tell our own stories. We can't allow anybody. We don't give anybody. You know what I'm saying? We don't give people. We we need to be telling our own stories. Our children need to be hearing them from others, from our parents. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, like I said, with your music, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like you give your song to somebody else. They're gonna sing it, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, it's not true. So, um, and that's why I was really interested in the movie Black Panther. I'm glad that they didn't disappoint me because they were building up all the hype. Because I'm like, yo, as soon as uh, as soon as uh, 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 Anubis got on here, it was like, uh, I seen it twice. I need to go back third time. So that I said, oh, okay, cool. cool. Is, is something in there for us, right? Because my major concern was them destroying the narrative, them trying, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you get people that play with your story, and that becomes very, very dangerous because you know, uh, um, um, one person's faith thing is another another person's survival mechanism, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, because our narrative have been played with, a lot of our young men and our young women are acting out in ways that are very culturally inappropriate. Very culturally inappropriate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, I mean, from the disrespect of elders, which was never really us, you know what I'm saying, to, to some of the raunchiness and some of the other shit that was never us. We have taken on, we have taken on um, um, ideas. We have taken on concepts that are not our own. And that becomes very, very, Dangerous, and when I say dangerous, it's like I'm not just talking about for young people. It becomes dangerous for full-grown adults when you run into somebody acting out, um, acting out one of these characters in the movies that we have been portraying. So they don't come at you, my brother. They come at you, nigga. What are you, what are you talking about? I mean, because, I mean, really, I have been in situations. Where I have seen, and I've been in a situation where I have quoted movies. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been in a conflict with somebody and they start quoting a goddamn movie. You know, whoa, 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 this ain't that deep. All right, but yo, fam, yo, fam, I, I gotta get up. Um, they're about to go on vacations, I don't wanna miss that. And um, uh, I need to pack up my stuff, I need to pick up my girls. And uh, as usual, it was a great conversation. And like I said, you know, anytime that we live, um, I, 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 for those who don't know, uh, his, his show's name is Mind of Shaka. You can find it on Facebook. You can find it on YouTube. I am Brother Tim. I am Giammi Journey. All things Giammi Journey. You can look this up. Uh, we cross promote. We family. We building. Um, and, and um, you know. Maybe by the end of this year, Shaka can help me reach my 
I know because I want to do a thousand bottles of ambrosia a month. And I'm counting those other scopes too. You know what I'm saying? Those adopted scouts. I'm counting. I'm going to get out a thousand bottles per month. Not just for sale, but so that we can have, so we can have discussions about them, so that we can tweak them, so that we can, because the next step is to start bringing young people to the process. I want to understand what happens once once I'm able to produce a thousand bottles. You know what that's called? That's called a business. That's called employment. That's called that's called getting young people and and and, and getting them in an apprenticeship. It's something that they can learn how to do on the side and and make that car money or, or make that tuition. You know what I'm saying? Or piece of that tuition or make or book money. You know what I'm saying? Or, or at least make enough money so that they can go to school and have study time. You understand? Boom. So imagine in Columbus if we do five thousand dollars. Let's imagine Cleveland we do five thousand dollars. Let's imagine that we do five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Those are jobs in those places because the, the goal of, of, of that embrosure, even though I'll be talking about you know when needed to the goal of that embrosure is to get other people in other cities doing different doing anything. Why? Because it's important as far as the honey, for the honey to come from the area in which the people live in. Because the bees go around these different areas, these different cities, and they pick up different stuff in the pollen. And the stuff in the pollen is what is what you get. And that stuff in the pollen is at a micro enough level to where your immune system, I want you to think about this. When you take raw honey, with all of that stuff in there, it, it those those little those little things that come out of the environment go into your system at a micro level, which means that your body learns how to deal with it on a micro level before you have to go out and deal with it on a macro level. So some people that will that drink that ambrosia in Columbus, Ohio will find out that they are having relief from their allergies. They will find that some of the things they used to trigger them for asthma attacks may it may not trigger them in the same way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they, they build up a tolerance. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of the environment things. So I make sure all the honey that I get is from the Columbus area. And, and now now what happens, what happens is since Chaka's in Cleveland doing the same thing, right? When he starts going to the stores and he, he starts finding um honey that's that source. In that part of Ohio, you're going to be picking up all of the benefits of the land that you are on. So, yo, this is Brother Tim, and, and once again, and this time I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is the Army Journey Media. But you know, this is all of the production, and we have just finished the Daily Toast. And understand that we strive to blow up your old paradigms. With that family, I'm out.